Good morning, V Chain family. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell so you never miss a Boomin video. We get these videos every single day, and you do not want to miss them. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started, guys. And we see that the markets have been uh, pulling back a little bit. Uh, the markets are down. Uh, just due to what I was saying uh, past few weeks here about the Fed hikes, the Fed rate hikes are occurring today. Um, they're saying that uh, a 75 basis point hike is occurring, but it could be a 100 basis point hike. Um, I had mentioned before in a previous video a while ago that the Fed they raise interest rates and lower them on a meeting by meeting basis i don't know why they do that it's like they have no foresight of any stretch of the imagination but uh, they're not an independent group obviously they are hired by the government at the time and um it is highly their their actions are highly correlated to what the president wants them to do and to uh, win elections so I don't think they know what they're doing <laughs> if they do know what they're doing they're not doing they're not doing what they should be doing they're just doing what will get Joe Biden might get Joe Biden reelected in the uh, next election and in the midterm so the Federal Open Market Committee meeting for July leg of the rate hike cycle will get underway in a few hours with the agenda freezing the quantum of the interest rate hike to be announced on July 27th US inflation crossed the 9% mark most in four decades and well above the Fed's target of 2% at the same time jobless claims are on an upward trend in the last week rose to the highest level in eight months these are early signals of a deteriorating economy the U.S. Fed, which raised interest rates by 75 basis points in June to a range of 1.5 to 1.57 percent, 1.75 percent, is likely to deliver another large interest rate hike for the second time in a row to stamp out inflation, which jumped to 9.1 percent on an annual basis in June. Experts are confident that the Fed will go for a 75 basis point hike for a 75 BPS or a 100 BPS hike in its July policy meeting with some not completely ruling out the possibility of a 100 basis point hike due to worse than expected inflation numbers. So just keep that in mind guys, tomorrow once the Fed actually lists out what rate hikes they're gonna do um, I think we'll see the market react to that. So like I've been saying the past couple of weeks, I think that it's going to be a little bit bearish for a little while. Um, so just keep that in mind right now. What I'm doing is I'm stacking cash. I'm stacking my favorite cryptos. I've cut spending a lot. Um, and I'm just preparing for recession. I'm preparing for layoffs. I'm preparing for, you know, stagflation. So that's just me. There's a lot of cryptos out there that are in a good buying range. So uh, there are deals to be found. Moving on. All right, guys. So we got Eisenreich here. Thank you, Eisenreich, for posting this. Go ahead and follow them. And also, the donation address in the description is for Eisenreich. So 203 VChain is always welcome the open transparent nature of blockchain enables coffee brands to confidentially announce the origin and brand story of coffee to consumers effectively trace the origin of the coffee beans and traceability of productions and sales chains this is actually pretty cool guys let's take a deep dive into it Yunnan coffee which has been marginalized for a long time has ushered in a new round of growth when a brand chooses Yunnan coffee to launch specialty coffees and specialty blended beverages, it does not emphasize the high quality and low price 
of Yunnan coffee, but truly explores the characteristics of Yunnan coffee, including highlighting coffee bean varieties and innovative roasting processing techniques. The brand made popular science to customers and domestic customers were able to get in touch with a variety of Yunnan coffee products, realizing that Yunnan also has good coffee beans and other eth and ethnic coffee beans are also good and is gradually in eliminating Yunnan coffee is the end of coffee contempt chain stereotype. This has been Google translated. <laughs> of course it has been. Um, this is about Yunnan coffee here. Um, at the same time, by tracing entire industry chain on blockchains, coffee brands could put their own sustainable measures on the chain and show the sustainable management of the brand of coffee to of, of the brand to consumers. Wow. If the coffee farm adopts the traditional farming method of cultivating under the shade of their native trust forest of their native forest that is beneficial to the protection of the ecosystem restricts the use of pesticides and manages waste and meets the standards set by Rainforest Alliance and meets the evaluation conditions, it will be able to apply for the Rainforest Alliance coffee certification. This certification aims to protect tropical rainforest wildlife and improve the well-being of laborers. Coffee brands can upload the certification to the blockchain for customers to check, visualize sustainable green planting, green production, responsible behavior, and realize the green upgrade of coffee brands from the demand side, making the brand more influential internationally. That was a mouthful, guys. Sorry for stumbling over reading that. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and pay some bills real quick, guys. We got the Rat X collection from Ratverse coming in a few short days, guys. Three more days. The whitelist mint is going to be happening, guys. 5,000 NFTs. From the Rat X collection will be sold and minted. Big prizes to be won during the mint, guys. A trip to uh, Paris, also a cruise as well. Uh, a chance to win one of three iPhone iPhones as well, guys. Um, so go ahead, join the Ratverse Discord and participate in the mint. All right, the Rat X mint, July 29th, guys. World of V art. I'll see you there. Let's go ahead and move on. This is something very future. Now this is uh, the continuation of the video that we were watching yesterday. Uh, Demetrius Nicolas here is going to be talking about NFTs. I'm just going to rewind it a little bit back here uh, when he gets to this slide here, and he's going to be talking about NFTs and how uh, what the real value of them is. So let's take a look here an nft it's not just a jpeg it's not just a digital file but more or less it's just a spreadsheet a spreadsheet in a decentralized manner a token id which is associated with a wallet id a decentralized wallet and an owner and this is what is the nft what is missing there though from the previous one it's the the digital file and how we see the digital file in that aspect is by inputting the metadata so we have the token ID associated with a wallet ID, and then on top of the token ID, on a vertical way, on the code, we write also the metadata, which points out on the digital file. It can be a JPEG, it can be a, a Word file, it can be anything. So NFTs are not just about uh, selling digital art, selling digital item. It can be, in the near future, the perfect instrument of digital rights over the internet something that nobody can take it away from you and you can exercise your uh, your rights over using your nft but that is something very futuristic i want to i don't want to jump there but it's more about democracy and nfts and how we exercise our rights and another thing that i want to mention about nfts and metaverse is we have seen in the in the past about crypto on ramp and off ramp and in a successful metaverse in my opinion is going to be the metaverse that it has on ramp and off ramp economy in general not just of currencies but also of products and in which we managed to bring this through the use case of digitals and what is a digital is the physical item 
associated with a unique ID on an NFC chip, near frequency communication chip, which is also pointing on the NFT, on the non-fungible token on chain. In that way, you have the experience in the physical world, but also in the digital world, and in the future will be the metaverse. In that way, you can carry on your activities from physical to digital and vice versa. Therefore, there is a bridge between those two worlds. And having that said, let me give you a demonstration of how a digital works. So here we see Anna Kuni, a painter using uh, World of V marketplace in VeChain. There is a physical painting that she put an NFC chip uh, on the back of the painting, and she's going to use the VeChain Pro, scan it, and see the the NFT uh, identity uh, token ID, which is associated with the creator, which was given to the owner of it, a storytelling of the painting. But also afterwards, when she's going to press the link over there on the wallet, she's going to be redirected on the physical provenance, authenticity of the, of, of the physical painting, the raw materials used, the storytelling also on the physical side of the, of, uh, of the world. Because it's very important to bridge the gap. Otherwise, we're going to miss the transitioning because not everybody is ready for the digital transformation. No, you cannot give to a grandma a decentralized wallet like Metamask and tell her, sign in here, uh, you can jump in the metaverse. We need to find the right bridge and the right balance having that set. And something important about VeChain, we are the number one, layer one, uh, sustainable for NFTs and any other use case. Where we have seen Ethereum uh, having very high fees, transaction fees, I think uh, two days ago we have seen Ethereum having 1,000 transaction fees. Where we see Solana having downtime, VeChain is standing out there for more than seven years with zero time in downtime, with very, very low fees. And some of the marketplaces have zero fees. Not only zero fees like OpenSea, you, you pay after you sell it, you mint it and you can transfer it for free using the fee delegation which is something very important about the transitioning of uh, traditional world to the digital world. Having that said, uh, I want you to, to thank you again one more time. And don't forget, uh, we have also the VeChain Hackathon and the VeChain Foundation Grant to apply there to build your project funded by VeChain. All right, guys, straight from Demetrius's mouth there. Um, Told us a little about what NFTs are and how VeChain is one of the best, cheapest, fastest NFT platforms in the ecosystem. So shout out to Demetrius. Let's go ahead and move on here. 618 days left to the next Bitcoin block having guys. And like I mentioned earlier, the markets are reacting to the Fed meeting, like I had mentioned earlier. Um, you know, we're in a crazy world right now where the Fed raises interest rates by a couple of percentage points and people freak out and it's just the way it is, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be buying up all these sweet, sweet discounts here. A couple of coins that I have my eye on here. I'm taking a look at VeChain itself. down about seven percent here i could see we could see a one cent v chain um by the time tomorrow comes along that's definitely a possibility so just keep that in mind guys as you move forward i think we're going to be in for you know i don't want to say rough but we're going to be in for a volatile uh few weeks all right so just keep that in mind guys i love y'all so much don't let your memes be dreams I will talk to you guys soon with the Cardano updates. Have an amazing day. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Before we end, I'd like to say thank you to our wonderful Patreons. Without you guys, I don't know if I'd still be doing this. Thank you so much for your wonderful support. Marilyn for Crypto, Anthony Andrews, Bruce Den, Kyle Bachi, CryptoSVT.si, Angeltopia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson II, Kraken, Offlayer LLC, and Lucky Sunshine Token. Thank you again.
I humbly appreciate you. Go ahead, click the links down below, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and we'll be back with another V-Chain and Cardano video.